Everybody's got an opinion. But this is the bottom line. What it is, welcome back to another bottom line. Listen, my name is Bradley, and today we're talking about social media. How do we get engagement? How do we actually get people to interact with us on social media? Half of you idiots will post something and then get a bunch of comments and not say anything back. You have to interact, dummies. Now, instead of me trying to preach about how much I know about social media, because I don't know Jack Diddley, I thought I'd bring you a friend of mine. Let me introduce you to Mandy. Nearly 90% of Americans have social media accounts. 95% of Americans have a car. 100% of Americans use that phone in their car. And the majority of them are checking their social media. They're risking a ticket. They're risking their lives. For what? For your weak old ham sandwich on Instagram that's got about two likes. Nobody wants to see that shit. Maybe your mom and your grandma, but that's because they love you anyway. But not your hundred, your thousand, your ten thousand other followers. They're going to shut you off. Do you want to know the secret to great engagement? Do you want to know how our clients are able to achieve 100 to 1,000 retweets and likes? The secret is value. You might be asking Mandy, how do I create value? Your followers are telling you right now. They're telling you with their likes, their retweets, and their shares. Scroll through your Facebook feed. See what gets the best engagement. Guess what? The stuff that gets the best engagement, it ain't no ham sandwich, okay? It's real, actionable advice, and we all have it. Through our experiences, through our life lessons, those hold value. Those are worth their weight in gold. Those things are what you should be telling people that they can use in their own lives, and you're gonna get explosive engagement. And then when people comment, like, and share, don't just leave them. Respond. Say, hey, thanks for that. Now you've got a relationship, and guess what? Relationships are the ultimate wealth. The number one problem that people have is that they do a post once a week. There is no way in any part of your life that you have success doing one thing a week. Can you imagine if you went to work one day a week? You're not going to get a paycheck for that. In fact, you're probably going to get fired. The only way that you're successful on social media is doing things consistently every single day bringing value. If you have half a brain in your head, you're gonna get on your social media accounts right now and you're gonna start blowing it up. So you're telling me there's a chance. You're gonna start scrolling through your past tweets, your past Facebook posts, and see what got the most engagement. You're gonna put that into your mind and you're gonna say, What's the commonality here? How can I get more of this value put out there for my followers so I can gain more interest? Because the fact of the matter is, you're exchanging value for their attention. If you don't have time, hire me. I've got all the time in the world. This is what I do. But if you can't do either, and you're still gonna use the excuse of you ain't got time, and all you've got is that weak old ham sandwich, I suggest you eat it. And that's the bottom line. Oh, I don't even eat ham sandwiches. Do people try to video message you a lot on Facebook? That's really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. He's oh, not boy. He's not giving up. He's relentless. He must have watched that bottom line.